Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As a continuation part of Hermenia, in this video I am going to talk about retrogressio metamorphosis. It is a type of metamorphosis. Then what do you mean by metamorphosis? Metamorphosis is a change in the structure of body from larval form to adult form. You all know that larva develops into an adult. Usually less developed larva develops into an advanced adult individual. But reverse happens in the case of retrogressive metamorphosis. In retrogressive metamorphosis, an advanced larva develops into a less developed adult individual. So such type of development or retrogressive metamorphosis takes place in the Assyrian tadpole larva of Hermenia. You all know that Assyrian tadpole is highly active, motile and free swimming form. It has almost all caudate character like presence of notochord, presence of nerve cord, presence of pharyngeal gill slits, etc. So it is a highly advanced larva. This highly advanced larva develops into an inert, sessile, degenerate adult individual. You know that the adult herd mania is a sessile form, means found attached to some substratum. And almost all caudate characters are lost in the adult individual or almost all caudate characters are not there in the adult individual. So advanced larva develops into a less developed adult individual. That is why it is known as retrogressive metamorphosis. We will see what are the structural changes takes place during the metamorphosis of advanced acidian tadpole larva into a less advanced or less developed herd mania or adult form. Soon after hatching of this larva from the egg, this larva swims for about some time, that is of about 36 hours. After that, this larva becomes sluggish, it sinks down to the bottom in search of suitable substratum. Once this larva gets a suitable substratum, it gets attached to that substratum with the help of this adhesive papillae. This larva stands erect with the tail upward and the head downward. Later, after attachment of larva to the suitable substratum, it undergo retrogressive metamorphosis to become adult form. Metamorphosis involves mainly two types of changes, that is retrogressive changes and the progressive changes. We will discuss about these two types of changes one by one. First one is retrogressive changes. Retrogressive changes involves destruction and disappearance of certain larval structure. Those structure which undergo this retrogressive changes will not be there in the adult form or those structure which undergo this retrogressive changes are lost during the process of metamorphosis. Now let me talk about the structure that undergo retrogressive changes. First one is tail. Soon after the attachment of larva to the suitable substratum, a long tail along with the caudal fin gets shortened and it will disappear finally. So tail disappear means whatever the structure that are present in the tail also disappears like nerve cord, notochord, tail muscle, all these structures are disappears during the process of metamorphosis or those structures are not there in the adult form. Second one is sense organ. You all know that the motile larva has two types of sense organ. They are oscillus and statocyst or otocyst. These sense organs are also lost during the metamorphosis process. Third one is adhesive papillae. You all know that adhesive papillae are present at the anterior most part and with the help of this adhesive papillae, larva get attached itself to the suitable substratum. After the attachment of this larva to the suitable substratum, this adhesive papillae will disappear or this adhesive papillae part are lost after the attachment of larva to the suitable substratum. Last one is rapid growth of anterior part. Soon after the attachment of this larva to the suitable substratum, the anterior part that is part between the adhesive papillae and the mouth undergo rapid growth. So this part undergo rapid growth but there is no growth in this dorsal part or almost no growth takes place in the dorsal part where the atrial aperture is present. Due to this rapid growth on one side the body part which are present on the other part start to rotate in such a way that the mouth comes to upper side. So this body part will rotate of about 180 degree so that the mouth comes to upper side. So the adult branchial and atrial siphons are formed from the mouth and the atrial aperture part. 
As a result of rotation of this body part, the adult body form is attained. So that is all about the structure that undergo retrogressive changes. Now let me talk about the second type that is progressive changes. In progressive changes, some of the larval structure which are necessary for the survival of this organism become more specialized in the adult. So those structure that undergo progressive changes become more specialized and they are present in the adult. Now let me talk about those structure that undergo progressive changes. First one is ectodermal ampullae. Soon after the attachment of larva to the suitable substratum, the tail become lost or tail lost. Because of the loss of tail, the trunk becomes pear shaped and four large ectodermal ampullae develops at the point of attachment. Even the adhesive papillae will disappear. As a result, for the purpose of attachment, this four ectodermal ampullae attaches at the point of attachment. So with the help of this ectodermal ampullae, the developing or metamorphosing larva attach itself to the suitable substratum. Next one is sensory vesicle. You all know that sensory vesicle part is present in the larva. So this part that is some part of the sensory vesicle become cerebral ganglion in the adult. So in the adult the simple cerebral ganglion is present. The trunk ganglion start to lie between this mouth and the atrial siphon. Third one is development of digestive system. The test which covers the mouth will disappear or reabsorbed. As a result, the mouth becomes functional. The stomach enlarges in size. The intestine which was very small in the larval stage becomes elongates. The liver develops. As a result, the digestive system becomes develops and it becomes functional. Next one is pharynx. The pharynx enlarges in size and number of stigmata or gill slits increases as a result of division. The atrial cavity which surrounds the pharynx also enlarges. Next one is circulatory system. Heart along with the circulatory system develops. Next one is very important is gonads. From the mesenchyme cell which are present in the larva, the gonads develops in the adult. So these are the mesenchyme cells which are responsible for the development of gonads in the case of adult. Last one is test. The test start to cover all over the body of adult and it become thickens. Some part of the test also forms food if necessary for that particular organism. So food also formed because of this test and all over the body of this adult organism test is formed. So that is about the structure that undergo progressive changes. So because of this retrogressive changes and progressive changes, sessile degenerate inactive adult form is formed. So this adult individual lack almost all caudate character. That is all about the retrogressive metamorphosis. I hope this video will be useful. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.